Hi friends, this is MD Vegan. I make a nice lettuce today and I explain you my method because the take three is really amazing because it leads me through the whole plant-based um, food world. Such a variety opens because I restrict myself to three always and there's not only three ingredients. I begin with three ingredients so to make it easier but it doesn't end there. I show you how. So first I have three ingredients of the base. The base is the salad here, the lettuce, and this one I couldn't resist today in the health food shop. So fresh, you know, it is winter, but still they have this wonderful fresh lettuce, very simple and tender leaves, you know, that is very nice for a salad. Of course you need to have a, a nice dressing for it, because the dressing should not mesh the salad. These tender leaves have to be washed thoroughly, and you could put these leaves here, like this, whole leaves, cleansed, dried with a spinner, into the fridge for a week. They would not suffer. I mean, then yeah, that way you have a very easy salad yeah, every day. Yeah. The dressing, you could have maybe one or two dressings. They, cut, they just tear the leaves from this tender uh, lettuce apart with my hand, like this. Yeah. That's the best because to hurt the leaves, I mean to mesh them yeah, with a knife, that, that would li likely happen, but with a, just tearing them apart like this leaves this nice structure, the light, you know, leaves it um, intact and, um, and you have this um, very easy way to put them together here. Yeah. Yes, this, is what my, this is the base of my salad, my first ingredient. And the main ingredient, yeah, I would say it is a lettuce. But I mix it with two other ingredients. That is a dressing, basically. Here, show you later. And now the first specialty of the take three. The second ingredient, or the third ingredient, as you want to put it, consists itself from three ingredients. Or three ingredients. So it is on uh, tomatoes. Um, olives and onions. Yeah. This little trinity together is delicious in itself. They are famous together in so many dishes. They got in a guacamole, they got in a tomato olive salad with the onion together. These are really amazing and each of the um, these three ingredients can be refined with other ingredients. The easiest thing maybe would be the tomatoes, just with pepper and salt. But I begin, due to my, due to my uh, containers here, I begin with the olives. Here, the olives I will combine with some almonds. Yeah? Uh, only some of these, not all. I need the rest for the dressing. Here are the olives. I have some Kalamata olives. Cut them slices. And I put some of the, the, the almonds in there. It's also a wonderful combination, olives and almonds. They go so good together so nicely. Maybe the almost the same quantity. What were them? See? And the rest I keep for the dressing, I'll show you why later. And a little bit of garlic. A garlic I smashed it on a little wooden a cutting board with a, with a, a blade of a knife or with a fork, whatever you like. I put it into the olives. Also, a perfect combination, olives and um, garlic is wonderful together. And together with your almonds, you can also put them into a guacamole. It's also a nice component. You see, this is a little way, a little bit of um, deconstruction of classical recipes, what this method is based on. In order to get nice recipes of all kinds of dishes, yeah, you begin to decompose them into very simple um, units. Units of three I take because that makes it easier and it's a simple method uh, for many many reasons. I show you only how, how today how I put together the single ingredients again of trinities. So here I have the olive together with the garlic and with the almond. It's perfect and I put it just onto a lettuce. So, first, 
Chesa olive is the first. Together with the olive goes the tomato. Here I have a tomato. I show you again. Maybe the two tomatoes. Yeah. And pepper and salt. Here Himalayan salt and black pepper. A classic for tomatoes. You enjoy tomatoes so nicely together with pepper and salt. And I could put them here maybe in my olive bowl. Yeah. That is just available. Put the tomatoes in the olive bowl with the olive been before. Put the pepper and salt on top. I have Himalayan salt. And just combine a little bit. You have to get it all evenly tossed. Because you won't only have the salt or the pepper completely on one piece of tomato and the rest hasn't any flavor you know, beside of the tomato flavor itself. But pepper and salt is very nice to combine with tomato. They like each other and it's also classic. So another, you know, this is the, what we call deconstruction. Yeah? You have classical flavors like tomato with pepper and salt and you take it and make it one single part of three. So tomatoes and olives. Now I have two together, tomato and olives. And the third is onions. I could go ahead and refine even the onions, but it's not needed now, because I put the onions just at the third of the trinity for my second ingredient. So first is green salad, second is olive, tomato and onion. I put them all together here. They are so nice together. Olive, onion, and tomato. And two of these have been refined. See? That's what I have now. Olive is light. It's a fruit. A fatty fruit, but still light. Tomato is light. And onion is light too. Much of water. But it has a hot flavor. But it's light. So, so I have my two ingredients. Salad and the trinity of tomato, olives and onion. Third ingredient is the dressing. The salad needs a nice dressing, I would say, usually. Put the salad aside for a while to show how I make the dressing. This is the dressing I pre-made. And really, I love it so much. There is in there lime, chili and almond. And the water. So just the almond blended with the lime and the chili. And uh, I even took some of the peel of the lime in there, a lot of chili, because it's such an amazing flavor. You don't even need the salt in there. By the way, I have salt in the salad, so it would also combine very nicely together. And um, this year I made it as a staple to keep it in the fridge for a while, and it is pretty runny. Maybe you can see it here, how runny it is. And it's just nice to have a runny dressing for, especially for uh, the lettuce. The tender leaves, they need a, um, a runny dressing. But today, I wanted to have a little bit more creamier, like a lettuce is very nice with a cream. Yeah? So I put the rest of the almonds, they have been soaked by the way, you don't need to, it's also nice, blends easier together with the dressing, because once you soak the almonds, you don't need to wait after the blending in the salad, then in the dressing, until they soak a little bit again, to blend them again, to make it really creamy. Otherwise the dressing turns thicker and thicker, and it sits for a while. This dressing can sit for a while, will not turn thicker, because the almonds have been blended before. Now the blender dance, to refine the dressing a little bit, make it creamier. <laughs> I guess as the almonds have been blended, have been soaked for before, I wouldn't need to blend it very long. Yeah, I see it's a nice dressing creamy. Mm. But mm. Oh. Okay, friends, you have to try the, the lime and the almond together. It's just a it's a, it's a, it's a poem, a <laughs> form of flavors. I blend a little bit more to make it a little bit creamier. <laughs>
Then sometimes, even if you let it sit, the dressing in the, in, the, in the fridge for a while, that's very useful because then you can make a, a quick salad anytime. Just get out something of the, of the of prepared thing from the, from the fridge, like the, the washed and dried salad leaves, for example, or a cut tomato or something. And then you put the dressing on top, you can prepare it. And you can, you can, sometimes it's nice, to refine the dressing a little bit. First, you have a greater variety the basic dressing and you can refine with many many different things to have more variety in the food and sometimes the flavors in the dressing they turn down a little bit after sitting in the fridge for a while and then you spice it up a little wherever but you have the basic dressing the work is done you just refine a little bit so mm, yeah mm, very good very good oh yeah you have to try this dressing I have another video, I'll show you how to make it. So here, here is my salad with two ingredients. One ingredient is pretty complex, with tomatoes, onions and olives, each refined, but the, tomato, but the, but the, but the, but the onions. And here is the creamy dressing, the chili lime almond dressing. Put it on top, all of it, and just toss a little bit. Ready to enjoy. Yeah, you can subscribe and leave me on YouTube. You can find me on Facebook and um, yeah, Instagram or other social media. And you can chat and ask questions, give suggestions. I would be really glad, glad, glad to hear what you, how you feel about it and about your own inspiration. Have fun. See you soon.